regardless if you're creating the view in the composition root or creating the view models in the composition root, it needs to be created in the composition root. Because if, if there's any change in dependencies here in the view model, because there's a new requirement, you don't want to start passing all these dependencies again to the, to the parents, just so you can pass this forward. Or you also don't want to make them global in a way that is hard to test and hard to replace and hard to reuse these in different applications. So both ways works as long as creation of dependencies lives in the composition root. And then you use constructor injection, which is the preferred way of passing dependencies because statically you define them in a way that you cannot even compile if the composition is wrong. So it's a matter of depending on the case, if you want to create actually the views in the composition root, like we showed, we can return any view, for example, right? And you define at the composition level, what kind of view you will define in there. That's one way to go. Otherwise, just move the dependencies to the view model where it manages the state and you provide the view models, you inject them into the views.